Hello, and welcome to the Mindset Project channel. Thank you so much for joining us for yet another unboxing of a skin and a case for the LG V40 smartphone. So on this channel, we talk about greatness, growth, and gadgets, and how they all relate. So today we're gonna to be talking about gadgets, obviously, and this new skin or, or case that we got from Amazon, I'll leave the description below. It's pretty exciting. So again, please like and share the video. Like it if you like it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified when we get new videos posted. So let's get right into it. This one is from Amazon. I saw this and immediately was interested because of just the finish that it has. I thought it might give the, the phone some character. This is called the Nage B or Nag B, Naga B. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's not necessarily name brand, but we're gonna see how it works. But yeah, this is a uh, interesting. If you're wondering what that phone is, that's the uh, old Note Edge, Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. I'm still rocking that. But we got the V40 now, so it's a new day. But I'm not gonna ever forget how good this phone was to me. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Let me see how you get that. Okay, let me open it up like that. I've been having fun getting these cases. Anything in there? Nope. Here's the uh, model number if you want to look it up, take a screenshot of that. You can look it up. Let's get rid of that. Okay, this is what's in the case here. Okay, we got that. We've got this phone, which we don't need. Oh, inside here is the screen protector. So we'll put that to the side. Let's get rid of this. Okay, and automatically I see how we have the uh, internal etching to kind of let the foam breathe so it doesn't get too hot inside the case. That's the purpose of that if you've ever wondered. Uh, there's the case. Okay, it has a, it's not really leathery, it's leathery look looking. Obviously it's plastic, but it has a, has a green feel, so I like that. And this contrasting uh, fabric feels a little bit like suede. I like that too, that's a nice. Got the buttons on the side. We're going to see how those work with the phone. Power button. Google Now, Google Assistant, volume buttons. Microphone opening. Headphone, power, and speaker grill. Now, this one is not as flexible as the other ones that we reviewed. So I'm a little encouraged that this has a little bit, seems like it's going to have a little bit more protection. Come off it feels like this comes off yeah it does so cool you can have like a really bland boring v40 see that says v40 right there you get a really bland case or skin which is super flexible but i think it's gonna look better with this let's snap that back on yeah that just snaps back on real easy no issues you can take it off if you don't if you want to take it off i wonder if they have interchangeable uh backings we'll have to look into that again i got this off of amazon we'll put that in the the link in the description below if you want to pick one up so, all right so we've inserted the phone there it is nice raised lips not as high as the Spigen case that we reviewed the other day. Or not the other day, but earlier. Not as not as high. A little struck by that because this is supposed to be a full-fledged full-fledged case and not just a skin. But it fits. It's not a uh, warping, it's not loose, so that's good. Let's try the uh okay, look on the back here. We've got the room for the cameras. The fingerprint button. Flash. Let's see if the fingerprint button opening goes good. Okay. Oh, oh, got a text message there. Hold on. All right. Power button. Okay. Very easy to push. Very easy to push. Not an issue getting that thing there. Look at that. Very responsive. It's not hard to push, so you get immediate immediate uh, response. Let me turn it back on. Let me unlock it first. Boom. 
I like that. Google Now works. We'll cancel that. If you wonder about what this skin is or this uh, theme I have here on the LG, this is from their LG World Store. I can put a link below if you want to. Let me know in the comments. This is a nice skin. Volume. Very easy to push the buttons, no issues. I like that. Let me turn this uh, brightness down. Hold on. Turn this brightness down. So it doesn't look so harsh on the camera. All right, there we go. That's much better. Okay, so we got that. Here's the back. I like how that looks. That's a nice, it's a nice look. It's interesting. It's different than your normal everyday skins, which are colored. I like this, that this have a has a leather look. Gives the phone some kind of finesse, some, some snazz. So I want to see how this is affected by these are some large tall if you can see how that that's kind of tall in there those edges are kind of tall so let's see how it looks with the camera see if it messes with the viewfinder at all nope not at all take that uh See how it looks with the camera. Yep, takes a fine picture, no issues. All right, so they look tall, but they don't impede the uh, viewing of the cameras at all. That's good. I like this once again because you can easily find the fingerprint scanner. There's no issue, just it's right there. You can feel it easily. Doesn't hinder you being able to open the phone. One thing I miss about the uh, LG V30 was that the phone and the power button but the unlock and the power button were embedded right there in that fingerprint section. Now the new V40 has this power button on the side. So if you want to turn it off, you got a, another button. Whereas with the V30, you could just do both with uh, the single button. I like that. Some people didn't like it. I found it quite useful myself. All right. So this is the case. You let me know what you think in the comments. It seems uh, to be very functional. It's very sturdy, especially with this back on it. But this is the uh, Nagabi, however you say it. I'm going to get that in there so you can see it good. There it is. Nagabi V40 case. Oh, we forgot about the uh, skin protector or the screen protector. So this one also offers, I'm not going to put it on right now, but this one also offers a skin or screen protector that you can add to uh, this case and gives you an extra layer of protection not only on the back but also on the front so if you are concerned with keeping your skin or your phone screen protected it seems like it lines up okay I'm not gonna put it on because I'm not really one to like the screen protectors they get dust under them and things like that and makes the phone look ugly so but that's, that's there, and it has this big black ridge. I'm not sure I like that big black ridge. I'd rather it be clear all the way around, because if you can see, you put that up there against the uh, screen, those black ridges just don't line up. They take away from the, uh, the screen real estate, so just a little bit. So that's a negative on that aspect. I mean, I like the fact that you get the screen protector. I just don't like these ridges on the on the sides because it, it, it takes away from uh, the viewing and it adds more bezel to your phone. So kudos for the screen protector design. Not a big fan of that. Um, but it seems to be just by, you know, putting it on without laying it on there. I mean, just by laying it on there, it seems to be, you know, responsive. I can do things with it. Go back and forth, you know, Captain Marvel in the, in the house. So, that's the uh, unboxing. And I thank you once again for watching. I hope you found value in this. If this is a case that you think you might want to pick up, let me know in the comments. Again, I'll put the link below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time, guys.
Take care. And until then, remember, state of mind equals state of being. It's all up to you.